before New World discovery, Spain and Portugal had gone to the Pope over a dispute about de lines of demarcation, and the Pope had said to both Spain and Portugal, you are both authorized to reduce to servitude all infidel people. In other words, if a person is not a Christian, you are authorized to enslave the person. But in the politics of the paper trade, the Portuguese always got the best of the deal. They were better Catholic politicians. And the Pope eventually, when the discovery was that Spain was grabbing more of the world than Portugal, there was a treaty of Tartacellus. Pope had said, you take the East and you take the West and you two good Catholic nations stop fighting among yourselves. And this was really as a result of Christopher Columbus grabbing. Christopher Columbus wasn't supposed to come to the New World. That, that was a violation of an agreement. But the Treaty of Tartacellus gave Portugal a big country called Brazil. Portugal, being so small, didn't have the money and the manpower to manage a country. And Portugal got lost in Brazil mm. and dissipated so much energy in Brazil that colonial-wise, it couldn't move much further. Because, see, Portugal was already in West Africa. And the British, when the British came in, the British drove them out of West Africa. This is how the Portuguese got to the Congo. The Portuguese were in the Congo for 100 years. But the Congolese were so organized, they would push them out of the Congo. The Congolese themselves would push them out of the Congo. Then they went to Angola. Mm -hmm. 